Today, I'd like to talk about books. I've been buying quite a few books, investors books, books about money, books about making decisions, books about history as well. So on this channel, I'm going to be talking more about books and investing. But as a channel, I want to advance it in areas of which that I'm also advancing my personal life, like I'm starting to read more. You know, the other day I started reading a new book. This book in particular, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. This is a very old book, but it's been recently updated. And this is the book that Warren Buffett read that started his imaginary career in investment. And I've always wanted to read this book, to be honest. So that's this book. I've started reading this book and already I'm not even going to say because I'm going to do a full review after I've completed this book. And I'm going to talk about the different areas in this book of which I can use for my personal self. But so far, it's been golden, absolutely golden. And the fact that they included Warren Buffett's quote in this book, it really gives it a nice touch. I really like the design of this book as well. It's just simple. It's just very simple. But so far, I've started and I really like where it's going. And I don't really want to say much yet because I'm going to do a full review and that's going to be far more interesting. And when I do talk about these books, I want to be a bit more in depth. I want it to make sense. But so far, I'm loving my new book. This is another book that I've bought recently. So this is the decision book. I like to think strategically. And I think this can help me in my personal life. This can help me in my business life. This can help me in my work. It can help me in my investment life. It can help me in so much ways. I've also heard about this book before. You know, I didn't just pick it up randomly. And I briefly scanned this book just to make sure that what I'm getting is what I wanted. So I have a few other books that I did buy into. So for one, I bought Working Hard, Hardly Working, Grace Beverly. I've heard about that one as well. I've also heard about Zero to One. Now these books, Zero to One by Peter Thiel. I've heard about this book. I've heard about Peter Thiel. And again, a lot of these books, they, they're centered around, you know, investments. They're centered around development, business, life, stuff like that. Particularly this one, Notes on Startups or How to Build the Future. And I scanned this book quickly. You know, I just, I just like to, you know, just read the description at least just to know what I'm getting. And I was like, yeah, I know I've heard about Peter Thiel before. So I was like, got to get this one. Another very common investment book is The Psychology of Money by Morgan Husserl. So this is a very interesting book. A lot of YouTubers talk about this book. And I've, I've seen quite a few different YouTubers talk about this book. Olier, Ali Abdal, especially YouTubers based on investment, lifestyle, yeah, business. They've spoken about this book a lot. I haven't started on this book. I have not started. And I don't know when I'll start on this book because... I want to work on the Intelligent Investor book right now. I want to study that book. So that's one of the books that I'm reading is The Intelligent Investor. But The Psychology of Money is to read in the near future, hopefully. By the end of the year, I'll be reading hopefully quite a few of these books. But I've got to do it in steps. I can't just do it all at once. Certainly not. Another book that I wanted to buy was this one. 200 Infographics to Explain the World. An Answer to Everything. While it's a simplistic book, what I noticed on this book was that it was published by Bloomsbury. I've been wanting to buy shares in the Bloomsbury company for quite some time. And today I bought my first stock. Today I bought my first share in Bloomsbury. So I was quite happy with that. And yeah, I've been looking at other companies like Bloomsbury because it's one of those companies that are a sleeper. They publish mostly children books. This book has a lot of little information that I really like. And what I can do is if I like the information in this, I can always look at the information online and expand my knowledge. It has everything I need and I can just expand my knowledge from there. It gives me the basics. And if I want more information, I can go online and get that information. That's why I got this book. There's a few other books that are similar to this that are published by other publishers. Like Information is Beautiful. That's another infographic type of book that's based around a lot of things in our life. And... I just like these books, you know, these infographics type of books, but they also are really good for teaching you. You know, they, they teach you a little bit about everything. And as a person who's interested in everything, especially in investing and business, I want a book that tells me about everything. It's got information on renewable energy, 
the rush to space. Like I said, renewable energy such as hydro, such as wind farm. The list goes on. Speaking of farming, speaking of farming. Yeah, I've got so many things that I'm interested in. This book was perfect. So I briefly checked that one out. And this is not a book that I'll necessarily review on the channel. I might, but we'll see. But one of the books that I'm mostly reading is this book. Simple cover, not very complicated at all. So what I've done, I've added the cover to this book, the official cover. This is said book. Beautiful book. I've been reading this book and I'm expanding it on it even more. It's knowledge. It's history based on African history, African icons. It's like I said, based on more history, 10 people who shape history and not just any history, but particularly a huge impact on the African history. I really like this book for the people that it included, like the Queen Manith, a queen that were erased from history. She's an Egyptian queen, and this is ancient Egypt, Manith, um, the creator of dynasties, and he is the father of Manith. There's Mansa Muna, the richest man of all time. People still talk about Mansa Musa. And there's, there's a lot of other people that are included in this wonderful book and a lot of incredible graphics as well. A really nice thing that's included in this book is like the true map or the true size of Africa. This is really impressive, especially if you have young kids. This kind of book is perfect for young kids or teenagers who want to learn more about the African history. It's kind of perfect. I like to read history books, and this is perhaps my favorite history book right now. And I intend to get more history books that are based on African history as well. Now, these are some of the most recent books that I've bought. I've bought other books before, more fictional books such as Harry Potter. Those are some of my favorite books. But now I'm edging in more into lifestyle, meditation, investment, business books. So I want to talk more about this on the channel as well. So this channel will be changing and it will constantly be changing. We started with reaction videos. But we want to advance the channel and continue to transcend it. And yes, ultimately change a channel into something that I strongly can feel proud of. I don't think we'll do reaction videos anytime soon. Unless it's something really important like Miles Morales across the Spider-Verse. That I'll do a reaction video to. But I won't be doing a reaction video to many things. I think that was a nice time in history and now we're looking at the future. So let me know, do you have any books like this? Do you have any books that you'd recommend based on business, investment, finance? So ladies and gents, that is it. I just wanted to share some of the books that I'm picking up lately. If you have any recommendations in books in personal life, finance, self-development, um, education, investments, business, I'm looking for as many books as possible for recommendation to read. I really want to read a lot of these books in depth as well because a lot of these knowledge, they're around. I've gathered some of these knowledge from YouTube, but now I want to go in depth. I'm interested. I'm keen on going in depth. I'm keen on making this a good habit. So let me know what you think. Subscribe. If you have any recommendations, leave it in the comments, leave a like. And if you have any questions about the future of this channel or anything, thank you for watching. Subscribe and I will see you in our next video. Peace.